and welcome to the Snow Village Studio video series. In today's video, we're going over snow blankets. I'm going to show you what to look for when you're purchasing one for your snow scene. Stay tuned. If you're creating a winter scene for your village, chances are you'll probably need one of these. This is a snow blanket. It's a polyester batting kind of material that comes in a roll like that. And all you'll need to do is unroll it onto your structure or platform, and then you can set your village on top. Pretty nifty, huh? Choosing the right snow blanket for your village can be a little tricky, but I'll show you some tips on what to look for before you make your purchase. The first thing to consider when you're choosing your snow blanket is the size. Be sure to measure your village display area before even thinking about purchasing a snow blanket. This will help you in the long run. The measurements are located on the packaging of the snow blanket. If you find that you need multiple blankets, remember each end-to-end -end will need to be camouflaged, so you'll have to be a little bit creative with that. Try to find a snow blanket that is bigger than your village display area so that you can cut it away and not have to worry about hiding any kind of ends. Next, you'll want to be aware of the snow blanket's density. If you find one that is too loosely woven, you can see everything that's underneath the blanket, including light cords and any kind of markings you made on your structure or platform. And if you find one that is too dense, then it can be really hard to cut and also maneuver in your snow village. The snow blanket is used to conceal and also protect. It conceals what is underneath it, and it also protects your structure from the village pieces and also the village pieces from your structure. So it's kind of a win-win. Try to find one in the Goldilocks section that's just right. Next, look for a snow blanket that doesn't wrinkle. This can also be part of the density issue, but it's all about how the fibers are woven together. If you find a snow blanket that looks wrinkled in the package, chances are it's gonna be wrinkled when you unroll it onto your structure or platform. More than likely, you'll be reusing this blanket for future seasons. So try to find one that doesn't wrinkle as easily as others. Next, you'll want to consider the fluff factor. This comes into play when you're dealing with the weight of your village pieces. If you find a blanket that is too fluffy, then your village pieces will literally fall off. And if you find a snow blanket that isn't fluffy enough, it, it just looks like a piece of paper. Lifeless. Devoid. You'll want to choose a blanket that has a little bit of fluff, but not too much. Nothing is worse than seeing a beautiful village scene where they use too fluffy of a snow blanket. It looks like a blizzard village, and you can't see much in that. We know it's really hard to find a snow blanket, especially when they're shrink-wrapped and packaged or where there's just a picture of it online. But feel free to experiment until you find the right blanket that's for you. You don't have to use one snow blanket throughout your whole village scene. Feel free to mix and match, mingle them together. I use different snow blankets for my mountains versus my city scenes. It's all how you incorporate them together to make them work together. So don't feel like you have to choose only one. Each one serves a different purpose in its own way. And don't worry if you forgot what the second consideration was. We've got a printable checklist for you at our website. Print it out and take it with you when you're shopping for your snow blankets. Did we miss a consideration? Let us know in the comments section below. And don't forget to like our videos and subscribe to our channel for more villaging tips. We wish you luck in finding the perfect snow blanket for you. Happy villaging!